Now then, I'm another Magento dev. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the 2.4.3 upgrade again, because it turns out it wasn't as simple as I first thought. Right then, so I'm actually quite literally right in the middle of, of testing this out. So if my solution doesn't work, well, <laughs> this video will never make it on the internet. So the last video I did was upgrading from 2.4.2 to 2.4.3. And I, I, I sort of raised a couple of things with regards to um, Zend. And, it, and and that was about it. That was about the extent of the, of the sort of... Um, problems that you hit in, in terms of upgrade. What I'm now doing is upgrading some of my production sites. And what I thought was a simple process, as I laid out in my last like 10 minute video or whatever, turns out with this upgrade, 243, it's a lot, it can get a lot more complicated. One of the main things that I've found, and I'm gonna go through a couple of them um, now, and, and I'm, I'm gonna literally do them. And if it turns out, if, if I time it about right, this, this ticker, I'll, I'll show you what you can see on the screen here, of rebuilding these store URLs, because I think you can guess what I'm going to say, because you've probably found my video because you've had this problem, upgrading 243. But 243 doesn't like duplicate entries in the catalog rewrite table. So it doesn't like duplicate entries in this table here. So the first attempt to uh, sort of upgrading i was like testing out locally forced it through manually deleting the duplicates as they came up so probably sort of the big four so when you run particularly when you run setup upgrade basically you get an error a sql error uh, saying that <laughs> magento cart or a setup script which i'll go into in a second can't run and it's this setup script here, it's this schema that's trying to run, and it can't run because of duplicate values, um, and specifically this column in that catalog table, right? So instinctively, it's like, well, we'll let's let's delete them one one by one. Um, it, that's not going to work for you if you're using a deploy system to get this upgrade on a live site. So we need we need something better than that. So I thought of this, and we're going to see if it works. So essentially, you can get past the error by going into vendor. By the way, never do this. Um, never, never, never do this. But do it, do it to get yourself around this. It's it's almost like a it's a stopgap between the real solution. It's like a bit of a polyfill that'll get us there. So in order for basically, what I advise you do is I advise you down download this which is um, a great plugin. I've used it many times. It's got me out of jail loads. You probably know of it. But download uh, or compose or install it, in fact, to your, to your if you're having this problem. Um, and it would be useful for all sorts of other things. And basically, this regenerates the rewrites table in Magento 2. So my plan is that I truncate this table, completely cheer it, uh, clear it with uh, delete from... from both of those tables. So delete from catalog URL rewrite, so this table, and also just the URL rewrite table. And that'll clear both of them tables. Um, then, my idea is, after this has been installed, and the right, it is to run it, and it'll rebuild both of them tables, hopefully without the duplicates. Now that's the test. So we're up to 86% now. In order to get this installed, this this URL rewrites plugin, you're gonna to have to run setup upgrade. And when you're in this situation, setup upgrade won't run because of the entity constraint that I don't wanna, you know, fall in the table thing I first mentioned. So to get round that, if you comment, if you go into Magento, module catalog URL rewrite, etc., DB schema, and just for the time being, comment out that there lands 18 to 20 um which is the the schema that's trying to run to add um to make this a primary key 
And obviously it can't do it because there's duplicates. Install your plugin, then it'll run. Because if it, basically if you Composer install this plugin and then try and use it, um, I got an error. I basically got an error. So you can, you, what you want to do is just comment that out. It might work for you. It might work for you. It might have been something I, I got wrong in, in the syntax of what I tried running, to be fair. But as I say, I'm doing this on the fly. Um, I'm sort of showing you all the uh, cracks in my logic. But you might you might get somewhere with this if you if you um, if you bear with us. So I'm going to let this run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to start it once it's run again. Once it's run, because I need to run another command, and I'll sh I'll show you that one. Because not only do I have to um, regenerate the product um, entity, I also have to regenerate the category entity. Um, this is nearly there now. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to come back to it. My plan is I'm going to come back to it after I've run the catalog uh, entity as well, because I reckon that's going to take a while. So fingers crossed. Okay, so I ran it, I ran that, and then I ran, um, and then I ran that. And now we'll see if I can run setup upgrade. So what I've done is I've, I've uncommented, so that was obviously like that. So I've, I've uncommented that, um, and I'm really big for. And uh, so it looks to me like it's rebuilt these tables so we just need to make sure it's rebuilt them without duplicates which i'm guessing it i'm guessing it hasn't why would it create duplicates um, yeah so it's i mean these look decent to me right then um what a plugin this is absolutely brilliant get it just just get it you, you never know when you're going to need it okay so yes yeah, so it um that works. So just to recap on a, on a couple of things, um, if you do get this issue, so you'll probably get it in stores that have been going a while where, you know, there's been redirects created, products deleted, products added. It, it all affect all, all that sort of daily motion of running a store affects those tables quite heavily, the rewrites. Um, and I mean, you probably come across, you sometimes get errors in the admin when you're trying to move categories or, or create categories and rename categories and stuff like that. I find clients have, have trouble with. So those tables are going to be, if there's if there is problems in them with regards to duplicate entries, which apparently Magento has never bothered about before, now on 243, really pissed off about them and won't let your uh, setup upgrade and deploy commands go through. Um that's the best way, in my opinion, to fix it. Like I said, I tried going through and sort of running the setup upgrade, seeing which line it was that was a problem, deleting the duplicate entry and rinse and repeat. But, I mean, potentially, depending on how big your story is, there could be hundreds of them and you'd be at it all day. Now, you can't do that in a live environment. You've got to get the site back. So my advice would be get in there with that plugin, with this one. Get in there with this first cleanse that table so you're gonna to have to delete it and rebuild it um the site's gonna to have to go into maintenance mode to do that um so it is a it is it is risky but test your upgrade first locally as always if you get that error you're gonna to have to bite the bullet you're gonna to have to do it on the on the production date basis the or the production live site uh, the live site it's the only way to deal with this issue in my in my um assessment um the other things to look out for in this upgrade, which I didn't cover in my first video, which I've subsequently sort of got more comfortable with and found out, um, is Laminas Serializer looks like, Lam Laminas looks like what's replaced as end for various logging and serializing tasks by the looks of things. I, covered the, I can't remember if I covered this in my first video, but I'll say it now. If you get... If you, fair, if you get further Zend errors, like say when you go to the admin, if you get a Zend error there, Make sure, and you can do this either before you run the upgrade or after, make sure that your requ uh, composer require this here, uh, Laminas, Laminas Serializer, and then you won't get them issues once you're upgraded 243 and Zen's gone. Um, it does it does seem to uh, remedy those those issues. 
Um, I'd be I'd be really interested to hear in the comments what um what problems you're running into, uh, and what those situations were. If you wanted to detail some of that stuff, I know some of you paste your areas straight in there. I don't mind that at all. Uh, go for that, and uh, I'll try and help you out where I can. Obviously. It helps me learn as well, which is great, seeing other, the way other people do things. Um, and we'll sort of figure out this Adobe-sponsored upgrade together. Really big in a showstopper, what, what I've come across there, because you can't get around that without faffing about. And we all know when we're trying to push an upgrade to production, the last thing you want is faff. So like and subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. Um, I've had a few requests for different types of videos. Don't worry, those those videos are coming for the people that have requested those. But I just jumped on tonight to do this because I thought I need to do this as a as a second part to the last video because I made it look too easy in the last video. The reality is Magento sucks ass sometimes and you've just got to ass around to get it to play ball. See you soon. Thanks for watching.